Brooklyn Independent Television. Brooklyn real estate is hot and high priced, but there is a process that secures vacant land space to local communities for free. Julia Vassi has learned how one organization is helping residents use the open space to make Brooklyn neighborhoods cleaner and greener. This man digs the idea that these rocks and hills will soon turn into a nice garden. We were trying to acquire a lot and we found out that it didn't belong to anyone. It's our land, it's been in our neighborhood for so long and now everyone in the community wants to help out. So we all kind of all got together via email and all of a sudden now we have this group. Here in bed -Stuy, people use their hands, put their own time and money to beautify the neighborhood they live in. I spent lots of my own money, my husband would kill me. But I had people come and help me with the landscaping and I paid people to help me, you know, get the bottles and things that get thrown into the garden by the people that play basketball, or baseball, or whatever over there. How much did you spend? I spent about six hundred dollars. This is this is what it looked like the day that we opened. It looked basically like that: broken fence, some garbage, things like that. This lot had been empty since the seventies, but last November, Kristen got the key to this fence. She and her friends spent the whole winter working on the site, and now there's squash over there. There are some tomatoes. There are Blueberries, eggplant, potato, parsley, onion. I think that's kale over there. I think there's some cucumber at the front. It's a little bit of everything. Brooklyn has almost 600 acres of unused public land, according to city data. It's more than a thousand empty lots. And if you come across a poster on the fence that says, you have found a lot of your life, it means the piece of land is empty and your local community might be able to use it for free. Paula walks people through legal hurdles of renting the spots from the government agencies. If there's a vacant lot in your neighborhood and it's publicly owned and you want to know why, we'll tell you who to call in the city. There's a lot of competition for space in New York City. Um, a lot of the lots we work on are held by housing preservation and development and have been some of them for 50 years. When the city agency decides to actually implement the project that they acquired the land for, um, the communities have agreed that they will give up their rights. Um, but, in some, but that seems like, yes, it, it'll probably happen at some point, but it might not happen in this generation. She opened a company called 596 Acres. It helped kickstart a social network. On this website, the borough's community members share news about okay. the lot's ownership and ongoing projects, be it a garden, a farm, or an open-air theater. The app takes city data regarding um, publicly owned vacant land in the city and lets people search for that kind of land near them. If you type in, say, your zip code, you can zoom in to where you live and you can see other vacant lots nearby. And here you can see a bunch of people are organizing there. And you can email one of them directly. But while bringing community members closer to their dreams, 596 acres may soon have to give up its soul. We are trying to figure out how to make this project sustainable. At the moment, um, it's a mostly volunteer effort. I am not getting paid at the moment but my student loans will come due in October. And if we haven't figured out how to make this something that is sustainable, then kind of the human resources part of this project will close. It'll be a website. Okay. Um, which will be a bummer. Yet, it seems that the seeds have already been planted in the hearts of these Brooklynites who want the city to look better. All these empty lots all over the place. The city's doing nothing with them. We have to look at them, they are eyesore, they are open an area for dumping. So why not make it something beautiful? Something that we can look out our windows and see and it's nice. Something that we can use for something. For Brooklyn Review, this is Julia Vassi. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.